impact of climate change is fast being felt across the globe. As such, community support is becoming crucial in combating this alarming phenomenon. Singyin Secondary School is among the Hong Kong organizations hoping to make a change. Home to a host of energy-saving devices and renewable energy technologies, the campus is designed to cut electricity consumption by 30 percent. Solar panels and wind turbines are located on rooftops and can convert solar and wind energy into electricity for use in the school. All west-facing windows of classrooms feature semi-transparent solar panels, which apart from serving as sunshades, are capable of converting the sunlight into electricity. The elevators in the school are capable of generating electricity. When they are in use, they can convert the potential energy into electricity for use as well. One on-campus feature is an automatic weather station which beams real-time weather data such as relative humidity and wind speed to classrooms so students can decide whether or not air conditioning is needed. The school has also installed an on-site food waste treatment facility. Fifty environmental prefects and monitors are responsible for conducting food waste reduction and recovery. We connect 4 kg to 5 kg of kitchen waste every day. The machine will turn food waste into compost that will be used for landscaping applications. We will organize Environmental Protection Week every year. I hope it can improve students' awareness of environmental protection. For example, some students may think that recycling is very simple. In fact, we need to wash and remove the bottle cover before recycling. To promote environmental education, the government encourages schools to participate in and organize educational activities on climate change and a green lifestyle. This enables students to put what they have learned into practice. In addition to adopting energy saving and emission reducing hardware, we also weave environmental education into our curriculum by encouraging the students to explore and think about the importance of environmental protection. Through activities, we hope to spread the concept of a sustainable lifestyle to our students, their parents and even communities. The government is formulating Hong Kong's developmental direction based on principles of sustainability, saving energy and reducing waste. It is investing in initiatives which balance development and environmental conservation while improving the quality of living. The Drainage Services Department's solar farm at the Siu Ho Wan Sewage Treatment Works is an example. The $27 million project is the largest of its kind in Hong Kong, featuring more than 4,200 solar panels. The estimated annual electricity generation of this solar farm is about 1,100,000 kilowatt hour, and which is equivalent to the reduction of carbon dioxide of about 770 tons. And also it is about one quarter of the electricity consumption of our sewage treatment works per year. The electricity produced by this solar farm uh, can supply to our UV disinfection system and also the uh, sewage treatment and flood treatment facilities. To help develop Hong Kong into a low carbon livable city with high energy efficiency, the department is looking to adopt renewable energy in its future projects. It plans to continue to implement measures to reduce emissions to mitigate the impact of climate change.